Sea Taiwan is an area of global restaurants and cafes in Seoul, where you can find everything from French patisserie to Turkish kebabs. And the newest trend to hit Seoul is Korean Mexican food. These tasty Korean style tacos have been successfully imported from the US by four young Korean Americans. This is the kind of stuff I, as Korean Americans, we all grew up in the States and we all grew up on Korean food. We all grew up on Mexican food, right? If you think about it, Korean and Mexican go really well together. Yeah. If you come to a Korean barbecue joint, mm -hmm. what do you do? You put the meat in some lettuce mm -hmm. and then you wrap it up and eat it. So it's like a little taco. The only difference is instead of using lettuce, we use a tortilla. Right. That's great. I noticed there was a really interesting hot sauce mm. in the kalbi one. What is that? The, the samjang aioli. That's what Kenny's I was invention. tasting. Yeah. I was like, ooh, gosh, I'm tasting a lot more. I, I think that ingredient yeah. right now is, it has a, a lot of like potential in different dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, any kind of fermented bean paste, uh, soybean paste, it adds just that extra, that saltiness, kind of that umami. umami. So what is your favorite dish here? Probably the kimchi carnitas fries. Okay. So we have a French fries from America. Mm -hmm. We have uh, braised carnitas that we braise for eight hours uh, on top. And then mm -hmm. we have the sautéed kimchi, which is from Korea, obviously, yeah. with sour cream, some so hot like sauce. So like kimchi on top. Almost, yeah. yeah, almost. So probably our more, most popular dish. And the sour cream helps a lot too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen it, it kind of cools, cools it, down. it down. This is the perfect fusion dish for me. Do you guys eat here all the time? Sit down. Does. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? All right, guys, here are your drinks. Whoa. Change your sunshine. Okay, so what is this one? That's called an apple makalita. Makoli mm -hmm. is actually the traditional Korean rice Ooh. wine. So it has a almost like a yogurt-like texture. Yeah. So it's very soft. And it, it helps the, the harshness of the alcohol. It makes it land softer. Is this your invention? Uh, that is our Vato's original. I love the atmosphere that you guys have created in here with the perfect combination of fantastic fusion drinks and fusion food. Cheers! Thank you. Cheers. Cheers! Thank you. I've developed my own version of Korean and Mexican tacos. But here I'm gonna use some pork tenderloin. And because this is a fusion Korean Mexican version, I'm gonna start by cutting this really thinly in the Korean style. And this, because it's been partially frozen, cuts really, really easily. And that helps with the cooking time. This will be done in just minutes and also helps the flavors permeate right through. Now for the marinade. Bit of soy sauce, just a drizzle of toasted sesame oil, some roasted sesame seeds. I like to use a ready ground pepper when I cook Korean food. We always use soy sauce and salt together. One doesn't replace the other. They have different types of flavors and a different level of saltiness. Garlic, just a couple of cloves. I'm gonna use gochujang, and this is gonna add not only some spice, but also sweetness. If you don't always have mirin on hand, you can substitute just some lemon and lime flavored soda. Now, this is pretty much just gonna add some sweetness. It's not gonna give the alcohol taste that you usually get with mirin, but it's a great substitute and it almost gets the job done just as good. And that is gonna sit in this marinade for up to an hour or overnight until it's ready to fry. I like to make a bit of a Korean slaw to go on top. And this is more of a fusion part of the recipe. Okay, so I start with a very hard stubborn cabbage and I've got a magic shredder and this makes very thin strips. You don't need that much because this is just a topping. Some red onion, a little bit of tart green apple. I used to live in California for a few years and Back then, the two largest ethnic communities were Koreans and Mexicans. And because of that, the two cultures definitely melded together to create a very interesting cuisine, Korean-Mexican cuisine. I'm gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice. Just use your fingers as a sieve, catch the seeds. And then, because it is a type of slaw, we're gonna use mayonnaise, but our Asian mayonnaise. This has a bit more vinegar, so it has a nice tang to it as well. Sour cream, sesame oil, not too much, pinch of salt, and to spice things up, some Korean chili powder. Just mix that through so everything is coated. 
I've got some fresh corn tortillas, which I'm just going to fry on a dry pan. And in Korea, we wrap a lot of things with lettuce leaves, making things into tacos essentially, just with a different medium. So it makes sense for us to wrap with corn tortillas also. I'm gonna saute this right up. This pork is almost gonna be done before my tortilla. Give that a flip. And that is done. Now we're going to assemble our tacos. This people are gonna love. The apple and the cabbage really lifts this to a nice refreshing level. Can't make a Korean taco without kimchi. I love avocados, I think they're fantastic fruit. Dollop of sour cream, a couple of tomatoes, a few garnishing touches. Wrap these up. Mmm, that is a deeply satisfying taco. Fusion food at its best. And those are my Korean-Mexican pork tacos.